Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either. But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds? He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. I'd love to see you all at the fair next week. I'm going for the chili dog record. And I hear the shrimp cocktail competition is going to be biblical. Mm -mm. Anyone want to challenge me? Huh? I ate a breakfast burrito an hour ago, but the spear Hey, you pay for that little spider I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before he eats it. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right.